good pull. If you're flexible, then you lean a little bit forward, but from the almost from the sacrum and hip joint, not um, from the lumbar or thoracic area. You bend from the hip. Roll back. Normal your breathe. Taking in a moment, we're gonna go for Purvottanasana one time. Here if you want, use the belt on the feet, small loop, both feet could be covered, both feet are covered and then they will hold the feet very well, nearly a one forearm distance where your elbows reaches, rest your hands, fingers facing to you, inhale and then belt is helping your legs to be together and then lift your hip up as good as up you can, drop your head back. Slowly come down and relax. We'll repeat it. Open the loop, open the belt a little bit. And I'll prefer you bring it on your calf. Keep it right on the peak of the calf and once again tighten the belt. Keep the belt buckle in the free area so it shouldn't hurt the skin. And it will be easy for you to open up. Again, you rest your hands behind. You will see this will make Purvottanasana very easy. Rest your hands behind. Again, you try to lift. See, your hips are coming more easier up. Check it out. Stay for a moment. Head can be dropped back. Those who have any uncomfort, let you go. Or discomfort in the neck. Keep your chin up. Keep your head up. And relax, coming back. Don't struggle to open the belt, it's just the loop. You pull it opposite side and then it starts coming easy. You don't have to take struggle to open the belt much. Again, we make a smaller loop, back in position. Normal breathe. Now, Paribhritta Janushirasana with the belt again. Open the right knee a little bit out. Put the belt on the left foot and we're gonna hold the belt in the right hand. Open up, chest opening. Hold it with the bent elbow a little bit. Now grab your right knee with the left hand. Right knee with the left hand and then stretch to go down. Stretch the belt to go down and stay getting active from this hand. Slightly come back, know your flexibility and now I'm going to hold it very low, very much low and then again I will try to do the twist, pulling, pulling, pulling. If I'm not able to reach, I'll stretch like that. If I'm able to reach, I'll complete the position. Then coming back very slowly. Relax, we're going to change opposite side. Putting a belt on the right foot. First thing is simple and easy, holding it as a little bit far. Grab your left knee with the right hand and stretch and pull back. Feel it, observe. As I can see, I can go more. I'll hold almost down, almost down. I'll hold my right knee, my left knee with the right hand again and stretch. If I can, then I will reach complete. And then coming back very slowly. Apart, press your hands, easy breathe. Not much of sitting position I'm taking. We'll go on abdomen lay down position.
now we did Natarajasana. Same way we do Dhanurasana, the bow position with the uh, one by one leg with the belt support. So I'll suggest you put the loop on left foot and hold the belt with the both hands. Not active yet first, just hold, then inhale and start pulling up yourself. Get the closer grip, how much close you can and stay. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Then slowly slide, relax, leg relax. Take few easy inhalations and exhalations. And then change. Now belt goes on the right foot. Hold belt with both hands, keeping your right leg bent. And then start getting active. Belt should be closer to the ankle, not closer to the foot, and not closer to the toes. And then get active, pull it up as good as you can and stay. Getting active. Breathe well, breathe deep. And then relax very slowly. Coming back, easy breathe. Normal inhalation and exhalation. One time regular cobra. Regular cobra. Open chest, easy inhalation. Then going to the child pose. Here. I'll prefer to take a belt, just one time, hold your hands behind the back, being in like a child, stretch your arms with the belt support, maybe widen the belt if you want to, or close this grip, but just try to stretch, deeper inhalation and exhalation, Then coming back, comfortable breathe, shoulders relax, and then we lay down on the back. Few more postures with the belt. First, I'm choosing is Setubandasana. Open the complete free, open the belt, and bend your both the legs. Put the belt on the both the feet. If you have a block, place a block between the feet so they don't come closer or place your feet very well. Now what you have to do first is bending your legs, holding the belt. Now without losing the grip, just start shifting your feet away from the hip. Start shifting your feet away from the hip without losing the uh, grip of your belt. So let the shoulders get stretched. Do not readjust them. And then start lifting your hip. This will stretch your trapezius, your arms, your shoulders very well and will help your chest to expand very well. Keep breathing. Don't let your knees to fall apart. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Then coming back. Panasana, hug your knees to the chest for a moment. Then coming back, we'll do the bridge, uh, Chakrasana, the wheel. Open the loop if you can, if you want the belt support, and put them under the just like forearm area. 
you can see you can check by touching your fingers palms facing front if the belt is comfortable tight or loose if it is too tight you loosen up if it is too loose you can tighten up a little bit and <clears throat> see your head should not come stuck in between and then now you place your hands under the shoulders to perform the chakrasana feet are already placed in a good position then inhale then go higher belt helps you not um, to let your elbows go too much wide if belt is too loose you come down tighten up again then you relax those who feel their arm has enough strength but not legs knees falls apart a lot then for them the belt will be <coughs> on the thighs or if you have two belts one under the forearms one on the thighs try again to just let check it out now see your legs are not falling apart and they gives you the good comfort to perform you can stay then slowly come down apanasana again now i will prefer you tighten the belt on the thighs even if you have taken not taken on the legs take it now and keep the legs together tie them together we will try vipreet karni if you can otherwise just the setu bandhasana setu bandhasana is fine enough you lift your hip up try to give your hand support if you can if you cannot if, and if you have a block already know take a block under the sacrum area it's very hard to lift them together but still you can try and then you drop your hip on hands and wrist or block and then lift your leg this might be harder for you so if it is harder you go back rest or do the regular setu bandhasana find stable position stay for a while choose to stay more or less as we are almost in coming down last session and then even you can go for halasana from here stay in halasana then go in regular sarvangasana back in halasana first and then slowly come down very slowly come down straight to tanpadasana and slowly 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 lower your legs don't raise your head while lowering your legs down keep your thighs tight together to perform the fish bring your straight arms under the hip then push your elbows keep your legs and thighs active and then drop your head if you just expansion normal you breathe form the counter movement those who can do the lotus they can open the legs from the belt and then perform the lotus position and fish thighs are active then coming back relax if you haven't open one more last thing do not open it we'll go for the twisting again i want you to lift slowly your legs into the 90 degree i'm just showing you from the side and arms into the side and then inhale because the belt is holding the legs 
We'll go together. Twist to the left side. We'll repeat it. Inhale, hold your breath. Lift your both legs up together as they are being tied, tied with the belt so they will come up easily. And then go down to the opposite side. Then coming up. Inhale. Let's try two more times. Twist again to the left side. As the twistings are really nice before the Shavasana, they really release your all the nerves. It really releases all the vertebrae. Coming up again. Breathe out. If it is very hard for you to come back straight with the legs, you can soften the knees, bend your knees, and then you can come back. As I'll show in the last time, like you can bend your knees a little bit, and then you come up. Bend your knees and you go down. Then straighten up your legs. Bend your knees, lift your legs. So I'll prefer the straight legs, but those who can, cannot lift the straight legs, they can do the soft knees. And then coming back. Now we will remove the belt. Now you can just lift your legs. You can do opposite moment. You can pull the belt. Keep the belt aside. Do the Suptakarasana one time. Stretch your whole body. Apanasana with the one leg, left leg. If you don't have an uncomfort, discomfort in the neck, then lift your head. Relax. Change. Right knee to the chest. Forehead up. And relax. And then go for the Shavasana. Loosen up your body. If you want to do headstand, go ahead and then you do Shavasana or any other positions if you're near the wall. You can do even handstands and all, and then you can try. But right now, today we are doing only the belt session, so I'm showing just this much. And it's fine, it's a good enough session. There should be a contentment of doing a practice, not what is missing the practice. In a one day, one session, you need lots of time to perform all the asanas together, so it's fine. You have to be content whatever time you have got to perform the sessions on that. Just surrender and let go yourself. Let go your muscles, your joints, your thoughts, all the negativity. And feel that from toe to head, your whole body is relaxing from toe to head your whole body is relaxing Surrender more and more. Let your body fall on the gravity. Let the gravity pulls down more and more. Let the Mother Earth take care of all the negativity for na in, and put it into the nature for the balance. And what you're receiving from the top is a positive energy. You're receiving positive energy. negative energy has been throwing out. So you feel good. You feel happy and relaxed. You feel that your whole body and mind completely relaxed.
Enjoy the breath. Feel the lightness into the body with the each breath. Lightness and easiness. Feel good moments of paying good attention to the self are there. So observe and enjoy. Feel healthy and happy. Feel healthy and very much happy. Enjoy your present time. Enjoy the Shavasana even if you want to stay more. There should be a good, comfortable, complete moments to be in Shavasana. Complete moments to pay attention to the muscles and joints which have supported you during the whole session and which supports you throughout the day and for the whole life. It's a good communication with them. Showing your love, your unconditional love to them. Love and communication that I care for you. Like how you give assurance, assurance to your loving ones. That we really love you and care for you. Same thing you should be showing with your own body. That I love you. I care for you. You support me all the time. So I am, I, am, I am also supporting you. I want to support you most of the time. So you can remain relaxed. The coordination and synchronization between you and your soul. To see the inner bliss. That within you. The you within you, the soul within you, your soul is always happy and in the bliss. Always happy, always in the bliss. So find that connection, a feel of satisfaction of this good communication. Enjoy this present time. You chant simple M three times to feel relaxing positive vibrations all over the body. Deep breathe in. Mm. If you have the time, stay for Shavasana more. Otherwise, slowly start bringing your awareness back on your physical body. Deeper inhalation, slow movement in your toes and arms and fingers. Slowly, slowly getting active. Stretch the way you feel like stretching, any kind of stretching, bending, twisting to make you feel active and alive. And keeping your eyes closed, turn to the side. Coming up in sitting position very slowly. Sit in any comfortable position. Half lotus, lotus, just across like. It's a namaste. Om together three times.
ಸರ್ವೇಶಾಂಶಾಂತಿರ್ಭವತುಸಂತೂನಿರಾಮಯಾಶ್ಚಿತ್ಗಮಯ ತಮಸೋಮಾ ಜ್ಯೋತಿರ್ಗಮಯ ಮೃತ್ಯೋರ್ಮಾ ಅಮೃತ ಗಮಯ ಓಂ ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದಚ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 thanks to your god for giving you help in the daily life pray for your health and happiness your family friends health and happiness in the daily times press them on your right giving a loving touch to the whole body from head to toe slowly open your eyes thank you very much namaste Hope you like it. If you like it, please subscribe so I don't have to do the much publications. And you will keep receiving my regular notifications and regular videos. Write me any comments if you want to. Any suggestions if you want to. Have a good time. Be safe. Be happy.